Josh Raven here with the Daily Dart at the League of Legends World Championship quarterfinals in London. We're joined now by Forbiven of Team Fnatic, who have just come off the back of a an amazing 3-0 victory over EDG. And now Forbiven in a series that was expected to be so close. Uh, just how were you able to dismantle them like that? Uh, I think we got a good draft every game. And we managed to get a good early game every game. And they seem to struggle a lot when they're behind because they're their communication was dropping, I think, because they speak a lot of, they speak two languages. Um, I think we were just a better team, snowballing early game and then just snowballing out the game. Uh, you played against Pawn in the mid lane there, widely regarded as one of the best mid laners in the world. What was that experience like after MSI as well? Were you excited to face him again? Do you think you're better than him now, especially? Uh, no, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I'm better than him, but we're we're just a better team. Um, I've played against him a lot in scrims, so it's not really new for me or something. I feel confident going into every match. It doesn't matter which player I face. Now, two out of three of the European teams attending the tournament have made it to the semi-final, which is a huge improvement over recent years. What do you think has been the catalyst for that improvement amongst the European teams to make it this far? I think both uh, Fnatic and Origin have been uh, having really good scrims uh, the last month. We bootcamped in Korea, we had the good scrims in, uh, at Worlds here, we both managed to adapt and I think uh, SKT is gonna pretty much sweep Origin so that's gonna be an exciting match. Uh, a lot of people are calling you one of the best, if not the best player in Europe at the moment. How do you think you stack up compared to these Korean mid laners? Do you think you could, uh, bar, the, bar the communication issues, do you think you could compete well in the LCK? You mean if I compete in the LCK? Yeah, without ignoring the communication issues purely based on talent. Uh, yeah, I think I could do well, but I'm not going to leave Europe because why would I want to play in a team where I cannot communicate? It's pretty pointless for me. Uh, the other quarterfinal that's about to happen is, well, tomorrow is Koo Tigers versus KT. Uh, the winner of that game will be who you're facing in the semi-final. Uh, which team do you think is going to come out on top there? And do you think you're going to beat the team that wins? I think Koo is going to come out on top because they have been better in scrims. So I'm just judging from uh, win percentages in scrim. That's the only thing I can judge of, but it's going to be different on stage. But I think Kui is a better team in general. And what do you think about your chances versus the winner of that game? Mm, I think we have a pretty good chance of winning against uh, either team because I think we have better individual players and we are we have some time off now so we can watch them play and then we can just prepare well and yeah. And finally to give the European fans some hope maybe, do you think Fnatic can take it all the way to the World Championship? Yes, for sure. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Uh,